Ding 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 Keep it rolling, baby. Keep it rolling. And welcome back to the Jenna Jane Podcast with our completely original theme song that we just made up on the spot. <laughs> this week's episode is brought to you by The Skim. Guys, you know what The Skim is. We've talked about it, okay? It's just the most efficient way to get your information. It is a newsletter of all the top news stories condensed perfectly into a bite-sized email. It uh, goes right to your email address every morning, okay? It's free. It doesn't cost a thing. You just jump in and you go, all right? Right now, go to... The Skim, that's T H E S K I M M dot com slash Jenna Julian, and you'll be entered to win a $250 Visa gift card. And just subscribe to the newsletter. If you don't like it, you don't have to stay. Give it a shot. Check it out. You can destroy conversations at work with all your knowledge that you'll have <laughs> from the Skim. It's a great service and it's completely free. Check it out, guys. Also, MeUndies, the wonderful MeUndies that has been outfitting our wonderful I'm wearing me undies. closets with. Even more One wonderful for underwear today. for a long, long time. Guys, there's undies and then there's me undies. There is seriously no comparison. Me undies are three times softer than cotton. You don't understand it until you feel it right now. Check it out. Get 20% off and free shipping with their 100% satisfaction guarantee by going to me undies. That's M E U N D I E S dot com slash Anna Julian or click the link in the description. You will not be disappointed. I'm wearing them right now. I will even show you. God, I don't have those ones. You yeah. have ones with bananas? Yeah, you do too. Where are they? You've been hiding them from me. <laughs> nah, I ain't hiding have them. Have you been wearing my thongs, boy? What the actual fuck? Oh, I don't blame you. They're very comfortable. Ooh. Kill them. What are we doing today? I think Julian just wanted to eat chicken wings on the podcast. <laughs> oh, honestly. man. Okay, so here's the thing. <laughs> we are... We are a, 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 a lake full of ideas. Collectively, we are one lake. <laughs> it is called Idea Lake. Go on. And we are flowing with inspiration all day and night. <laughs> we don't know what to do with it. So sometimes we just have to let it spill out into the podcast and let you guys have a little, little bit of little, little bite of that. Ew. Little bite of that. I'm trying to do a thing. Oh, I'm, oh sorry. Go I'm ahead. trying to bring them into the moment. Mm-hmm. With sensory overload. I'm sorry for sensory taking, overload. Sorry for taking sensory you out. Sensory overload. <laughs> <laughs> Don't touch my I'm chin. I'm all done. I don't know. Um, everyone here has probably heard of the show Hot Ones. It is a show hosted by Sean Evans on YouTube, um, made by First We Feast. He basically interviews celebrities over hot wings, and they get progressively hotter as the interview goes on. He's a wonderful guy, a pleasant person, and a really talented interviewer. So the show is really popular. Um, so we want to do our own shitty version of it where we just ate our own vegan chicken hot wings and asked each other questions. But we already like know everything about each other. So we, no, 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 we no, just, no. we wrote like some derpy questions for no, each no, other. No, I'm going to learn. I really think that Julian just wanted to eat chicken I'm going to learn, on baby. The podcast. My favorite comment is when people are like, you should go on hot ones. <laughs> As if it's like, you just walk in there. You're like, hey guys, I'm on hot ones. Oh, that, Oh. That's much better. There we go. There's that light light. we've been looking for, bitches. Ah! (laughs) Okay. Uh, So what I did, uh, and if you'd like to check out the behind the scenes on how I made these vegan hot wings, uh, there's a little clip of the vlog right here we're going to put in, and you can click on that or go see the vlog. It's on my channel now. You ordered those wings, though. Well, I made them. You'll you'll find out in the vlog. But basically, I have four sets of wings. We're each going to have one of each. Mm Mm-hmm. Uh, and and they, they get hotter? They get hotter as yeah, they go. I'm scared what you bought. What okay, so we're, well, I'm going to explain. Oh. I got a bunch of napkins here. We got a bunch of napkins. Okay, so the first one is Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot. We're starting Ooh. off with Extra Hot. Because you scoffed when I said, Ooh. we have Frank's Red Hot, we can do this. Yeah, well, originally you were like, let's just do Hot Ones. Because I was currently watching Hot Ones. You decided <laughs> you wanted chicken wings in the moment, like a true Aries. The brain and I said, of a brilliant Julian, Aries. All we have is like... Um, sriracha and Frank's Red Hot, and you were like, "Yeah, we can just put Frank's Red Hot on all of them." And, <laughs> and just you scoffed. Eat that. And you scoffed. So I said, "Okay, 
Try me, bitch. So I ran to the grocery store and I bought four new hot sauces, okay? okay. We're going to start with the m- most... Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot Hold has on. me actually quaking. I have never had that in the upstate New York and me is dying. So here's the thing. Go on. I ordered them probably really improperly because I didn't follow the Scoville scale. I followed the Solomitaville scale, <laughs> which is basically you look at the hot sauce and you think, oh, that's probably this hot. And then you determine the science of it right mm-hmm. then and there. <laughs> So number one, the most mild, <laughs> confirmed by me, not tasted, no scientist, nothing. Uh, Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot. That okay. is number one. That is our starting flavor. We're starting the interview with that. So they might go up and down. We they don't might go know up and yet. down. It might be a fuck a fucking roller coaster. I'm ready. I do know that the last hot sauce is very hot. Mm, okay. Um, the second one is more of an Asian flair. It's a hot chili sauce with the chili oil mixed in, so you get like little oh, pieces of yes. chili on it. Okay. I actually wanted to do a little dab like they do on each, on each Love one. Love that. No, you Let's don't do the dab. No. Yeah, yeah, we're no, going to do the dab. No, no, I don't. No, that's just the last no, stop, dab. Stop, stop, stop. It's not the first dab. You even watch the show, yeah, you, you do, fake fan. No, no, no. They do, do a little dab of it on, on top of each wing. That's how it looks. Like that. Bam. Stop. Don't tell me to stop. I made us, don't I made us a it. feast, okay? This is our wedding. <laughs> Okay, so the second one is hot chili Asian sauce. It's like really oily, but like spicy, like Asian spicy. Then we have a Jamaican jerk sauce. Oh, delicious. Which is a nice different, different, different flair. Actually, I went out of order. It goes it goes j- Jamaican second and then hot chili third because hot chili is hotter, hotter than Jamaican. Jamaican is not that hot. The Jamaican jerk sauce is not that hot. This, that's this one Did right you here. taste any of these before? Yeah, I tasted that. That's tasted. cheating. How do you think I could develop the Solomitaville scale? I don't know. I, what do you use this the Scoville scale? <laughs> Just don't talk into my I'll mic. Talk in your mic. Um, so then we're gonna Eric's finish. Season off. is over. No, it's not. Why are we no, no, no. It's, with we're this. running it back. <laughs> the fourth sauce and the hottest one is Gringo. Gringo Bandito, <laughs> extra hot. Okay. Okay. So this isn't normal Gringo Bandito. This is extra or super hot rather. Okay. This is Why a Mexican hot sauce. Us? This is the this is the last dab. That's what we're doing for the finale. And then we have your um. Vegan blue cheese and vegan so ranch. So unlike right here. hot ones, we're allowed to use blue cheese. Wait, vegan blue cheese and what else? Vegan ranch. <gasps> oh, fun! Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so basically, we're just gonna get crackalacking on asking each other some questions. What? 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 What did I do? <laughs> <laughs> you're out of control today. Yeah, well, it's better to be out of control than in control. Because when you're in control, what do you do? You're stuck. Get out of it, and then you can do whatever you want. <laughs> control is a state of mind. All right. Let's do it. You first. Well, we have to take a bite of the wing and okay. then... Here we go. We cheers. Okay. This is how they do it. The, this is I'm actually internet. so hungry. Me too. Mmm. Mmm. I guess my chewing. That one's like a traditional buffalo wing. And that is not mild. <laughs> no. That's pretty good. Mm-hmm. I feel like... Oh, I thought you were dumping that on mine. I'm like, excuse you. I feel like that's like what I want Frank's Red Hot to taste like. Yeah, it's like hot. It's definitely hotter than traditional Frank's, but it's better because mm-hmm. it has the extra heat. All right. Yeah, My first got? question for you is, what time is it when you run out of ice cream? Time to die. <laughs> Any other answers, or is that it? Um, time to accept the fact that you're probably lactose intolerant. Mm, okay. Um. Time to throw a dart at a map. And have it land on somewhere you don't want to go, and then just forget you ever threw the dart, and then, then don't go. Oh my god. Okay. And then also time to go get more ice cream. All right. Good stuff. How do I do? Great. Don't chew right in the mic. It's making me grossed out. <coughs> don't do that, Julian. What is your favorite thing about me? Mmm. You mean aside from your butt? <laughs> <laughs> We've told that story, right? The butt story. What butt story? You know what about the story. <laughs> no, I don't. What? In the picture. Mm. Have we not told that? Have we? I don't know. I don't know either. Are we going to Are we gonna expose him? I'll tell it. Let's expose if him. there's no exposing. Well, let's expose him. It's so harmless. No, no, no. So I Harmful. did. I should go get the rest of these. <laughs> Why don't we finish these before you well, go Well, you can't get... go out of order. All right, fine. Julian, just right, relax. Whoa, 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 whoa. What did I say? Okay, go. So the butt story is... This is a wonderful story. I did um, something with Todrick. He had an MTV show, and we had, he'd been asking me to do so. Just, I'm not trying to chew into the mic. Don't move my mic. Control yourself. Don't control me. I had been, I wanted to work with Todrick for a long time. I love Todrick. He's amazingly talented and sweet. And he had an MTV show 
And it finally worked out that I was able to go do it or whatever. And uh, so I met Todrick, and he was, you know, amazing, wonderful. And he says to me, you know, I have to tell you something. And I'm like, okay. And I'm like sort of thinking of anything I could possibly, no idea. And he goes, your boyfriend's Julian Solomita, right? And I was like, yeah. How'd you know that? Like, oh, that's funny. You know, do you know him? You guys know each other? And he goes, well, see. Like, a month or two ago... This you, was a long time ago. Yeah, this was many years ago yeah, now. Like, yeah. maybe three years ago now. He was like... Julian had gone to a Miranda Sings show... With Josh. With Josh. And Todrick was there, as well as, like, the L.A. show or something. And he saw Julian, didn't know who he was, and just saw his butt. And was like, that is the most beautiful, perfect butt... I have ever seen in my life. And he was like, I took a picture of it because it was so amazing. And he shows me on his phone and he was like, I'm just so sorry. I took a picture of your boyfriend's butt on my phone. And I just started dying laughing. I'm like, yeah, it's pretty fucking great. And he's like, for my birthday, will he give me a lap dance? I'm like, I don't know. You can ask him. That literally happened. All of that is true. Mm Mm-hmm. You do. You have a great butt. Thank you. All right. Well, what's your other favorite thing about me besides my butt? Mm Mm-hmm. Um, you're just a doer. You're very helpful. You do so much, you know? You just do stuff. Fair enough. There are a lot of people that don't do anything, and you just do a lot of stuff. That's cool. I like that. And you're rad, and I like you, and you're sweet, and you're probably the funniest person that I know, but I'm biased, because everything, like, literally everything that you do makes me laugh. (laughs) Everything. Hot ones, the show with hot questions and even hotter questions. (laughs) Show with hot questions and whatever it is Julian did in the kitchen. I'm sweating. That was good. All right. Where are we moving on to? All right. Moving on to the... We got to keep asking questions. Okay. Um, It's my turn. Your turn. Go. Who is the most useless superhero or Power Ranger, if you can't think of one? I don't remember the Power Rangers by, like, you know, individual colors, but because I was really young. But Gambit, he does nothing. He does magic like a weirdo. I got reamed yeah, in the comments yeah, I know, for that video. I know, I know. Jenna did People, a video, and she talk, we were talking about Gambit, and she failed to mention that he uses kinetic energy to... The guy does magic. Okay, he's a lame superhero. <laughs> that was the point. Okay, so if you want to be a, a Marvel or X-Men purist in the comments, go for it. But he sucks as a superhero. He's no one's favorite. And we are big Tim Riggins fans. So even us who love Taylor Kitsch are willing to say that the character he played is bad. He's got to be bad. It's pretty useless. Right? Yeah. He's just yeah. a, a he's a magician that's looking for a group of friends. Yeah, I think I think Gambit's pretty bad. Yeah. All right. One more um, question for me, and then we'll move on. Postmates or Twitter? If you had to choose one, and why? Mm. If you had to get rid of one app forever, which one would you get rid of? I would, which keep, one would you keep Postmates. You get rid of Twitter? Yeah, I feel like oh, I could. I could get by with that's just that's a like real ass answer. YouTube by the way, YouTube and. Instagram and then you know get like my news other places. That's fine. That's an honest fucking answer because you are on Twitter all the time. And, yeah, and like when it comes down to it, Postmates matters. It does. Excuse Stop me. Stop burping. I, I didn't. That, that was an involuntary. The... That was an involuntary burp. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. So this is the Jamaican jerk sauce made by Pick a Pea. Pick a Peppa. Pick a Peppa. Pick a Peppa. Why don't you just make up a name? No, Julia? it's Pick a Peppa. I just. I it's, here. Cheers. This is not going to be super My spicy. My lips are still burning from the Frank's We started out. out, like, on level nine. Yeah, this one's not hot at all, right? Mm-mm. But it's good. Mm-hmm. We should start with that one. Mm-hmm. Sorry. <laughs> what? <laughs> what I do? Nothing. Don't look at me like uh, that. So- what? I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. All right. Your question for me? I'm so chewing. Give me a second. I don't just inhale shit. All right. I'll read a little bit about the sauce as you're chewing. Guys, this is the it's Pick a Peppa sweet. sauce product of the Pick a Peppa Company, LTD, Shooters Hill, Jamaica. It's really sweet. It's good. It's a sweet sauce. I like Jamaican jerk chicken. Yeah. This this has raisins in it. So it's like it's, you know, it's not a hot sauce, but it is like a, mm. it's a chicken sauce. You remember Cha Cha Chicken in Santa Monica? I was literally just gonna bring that up. Dude, I miss that so much. There's no good like vegan Jamaican food, really. You have to make it. Yeah, back in the day. So if you guys remember the vlog that Jenna put up called Adventure Day, we oh, were yeah. staying at a hotel. Adventure vlog. Adventure vlog. 
It was like five, four or five years ago. We were staying in a hotel because your house was getting fumigated. Mm-hmm. And the hotel was like right across the street from Cha Cha Chicken, which already was Cha-cha one of our like chick. spots that we hit sometimes. Mm-hmm. It was just a Jamaican chicken place specializes in like chicken. And that place was so fucking. We even talked about it in the vlog. Yeah. And we're like, well, uh, chicken with a side of rice and beans with a side of chicken and a side of rice and beans. Remember that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. This brings me back to that. So good. There really is no good vegan chicken spot. No, not really. Like, specializes in, like, chicken. No. Veggie yeah. Girl has, Shame. like, a, a fried chicken, but they rotate it out seasonally. It's yeah, annoying. they change everything all the time. Yeah. All right. Um, do your best impression of Kiki Palmer at the Shorty Awards. All in good fun. She was wonderful, but go. Hey, what's up, y'all? It's Kiki Palmer. Hi, Mom. Welcome to the Shorty Awards. I'm on Twitter. Follow me at Kiki Palmer. The next artist is not Kiki Palmer. I'm Kiki Palmer. Welcome to the Shorty Awards. You're still here. Uh, no, she was delightful. Yeah, but she's that was delightful. Funny. Yep. That was very good. Good job. Thank good you. Job. Good job. That was a good question. If dogs didn't exist, what animal would you surround yourself with like you do dogs? Mm. Like on the level of dogs. Not, I know you want every animal, but like... I mean, I don't even have a one answer for that. I feel like I could be surrounded by any type of animal, and I would be happy. Mm-hmm. As long as there's a bunch of them. Yeah. Like, I'd be happy if I was surrounded by goats. I'd be happy if I was surrounded by horses, even though I'm I'm not an equestrian, whatever you call those people. I think you call them equestrian. I, I don't know how to, like, take care of a horse, because I've never done that. Mm-hmm. But, like, I would love to learn if, I, if that was my reality, and I just had a stable full of horses. Like, I could do some sheep. I could do some cats. I could do rats. I could do mice. I could do anything. What would you cuddle with at night? Mm, if there were no dogs? Yeah. Maybe a kitty cat. I would really like a kitty cat. That's a pretty easy answer. I like yeah, that. Yeah, but like yeah. I had a ferret. I love ferrets. So I ferrets you had birds. to put in your cage though, right? I would get a pot belly pig. Like, I don't care. A pig would I'm be down. fun. I'm yeah. down. A pig would be fun. Like Ricky I want to meet Ricky's pig. pig. I want... Adorable. Luna? And they're so smart. I would love to have one, but it's unrealistic for me. <laughs> Maybe at our new house when we get one. Yeah. Well, if she, yeah. First things first. Let's get a house and then get a pig. No problem. All right. Pig. Good. Pig and cat. All right. One more question. Yeah, for one you. more question. Um, there's an earthquake. The ceiling is falling in, but you know you're going to be hungry. What food item are you grabbing out of the house, Julian? <laughs> out of the house? Out of so the house. So it's something we, like, regularly stock? Yeah. I would probably... Uh, that's a good question. I would get my jug of orange juice in the fridge. Gross. Okay. Why Why is that gross? It's nature's most wonderful, pulpy vitamin C juice. Okay. I would grab my jug of... I would probably grab – I feel like I keep, like, frozen bagels or bread in the fr- freezer at any time. Mm-hmm. Grab the whole bag. Mm-hmm. And how many items do I get? Mm, a couple. Um, I would get I would get rice. I would get a whole bag of – like, a family-sized bag of sushi rice. Which we have. Yep. Okay. Literally. Yeah, we have that. Um, yeah. And then I would figure out a way to cook it. And okay. nooch. I would get nooch. Nutritional yeast. Yeah. What would you get? Probably just the jar of peanut butter. <laughs> That's way more sensible. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be hungry. I'm just going to be chewing on grains of rice hard. <laughs> <laughs> so gross. <laughs> That's so gross. <clears throat> um, I had a similar question, so I'm going to do that right now. Um, if there was an apocalypse, mm-hmm. similar situation, earthquake, whatever, and you had to stock up on your favorite beauty products, which... Oh, three oh. beauty products would oh you choose God. to stock up on that you can never buy again? I already know the answer. Okay. Okay. There's a, a <clears throat> bar of soap that I really enjoy. It's by a company called Swell Skin, which I saw on one of those stupid reality TV shows. Yes. The, like yes. knockoff Shark Tank that was on like uh, Bravo, I think. Um, but it, it's not even so much about that. It's the ingredient that's in it that I fell in love with is sea buckthorn oil. So I have like a bar of soap that has sea buckthorn oil in it, which is really nice and helped my skin with a lot of stuff. Um, I would what? take a bar oh, of that. Mm-hmm. I would take, um, my rose water spray. Beach, you know I'm about that. Which Beach. I tried a, a different brand recently, and it's it wasn't just good. As good. No, it was. It's just as good. It's nah. just the ingredients in it. The rose water, love it. Amazing. Cannot live without it. And I would take Benefit, the real mascara, so I could not look dead all the time. <laughs> all right, that's good. 
Those are my three beauty I items. don't know what I would pick. A soap, a spray, and a mascara, bitch. And I'm ready to go. You could do a lot with those three. If you... Yeah, I could. You could stay clean. Mm -hmm. You could stay fresh with mm -hmm. the rose water. Mm -hmm. And your eyelashes would Poppin'. stay on Poppin'. fluck. Yeah. On like, fluck? <laughs> on fluck. <clears throat> All right. Your turn. Are we eating another wing? Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's. Um, that's the hottest this one? This is the hottest oh, one. So okay. we're on number three now. Three out of four. This is the you hot can, chili like, sauce. see the chili on Yeah, this here. one is going to be spicy. So here we go. Oh, we got to dab it. No, we don't. Here we go. Cheers. So it's going to, how do you know it's going to be spicy? Oh, I got my fish. It's on my eye. Here. Ah. Uh-uh, 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 uh-uh. Oh, no, no. Here, don't, I'm sorry. I was trying to help. Don't wipe my eye. You're going to wipe it into my eye. It would be okay because it would still taste good. I'm touching hot, hot stuff. Okay, not, we've we've had an emergency all. here right now. Boy, if you fucking don't. <laughs> How did you get a chili on your eye? Because I bit it and it flew into my face. I guess your vision got really hot. It's, what? That's what? not spicy at all. It is. No, it's not. Yeah, okay. Well... My order was a little wrong, but this is really yummy, and we're going to do a little extra of the... No, it's hella yummy. No, 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 no. No, I don't want you to just dump out shit on the table. No, too late, because it's on the table now. Was this, like, all this red chili stuff? Yeah, That's you got to eat the chili. Really spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not spicy. Oh, put some chilies on it. Woo! I've been eating the chilies. This? What's that? What are these square things? I don't know. It's all Vienna check, though. What is that? That's not a hot sauce at all. It's, like, crunchy. What's in there? Is that vegan? It's vegan. I checked. Um, okay. This isn't spicy. I'm sorry. I tried. Okay? This is my first hot ones. Welcome to mild ones. <laughs> <laughs> Bland food and even blander conversation. <laughs> <laughs> mild ones. That's good. All right, you got a question for me? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hold on. Let me turn my phone on and not splash this hot shit in my face. Mm. Okay. Julian. Mm -hmm. Tell us why you started using the phrase sick bitch. <laughs> Fucking hell, I got exposed. <laughs> um, okay. I started using the phrase sick bitch because <laughs> what? He says it, like, every night when we game. Sick You're, bitch. That question is a sick bitch. I'm exposing you. Okay. We were driving to Oregon, visit Jenna's family for a Christmas, and so we were listening to Shane and Friends podcast, as we normally do on our long drives, and Shane had Jeffree Star on one of his episodes, and I knew little to nothing about uh, Jeffree Star prior, so uh, listening to the podcast really was intriguing to me, because he's, like, a kind of a brilliant businessman, and... He's done a lot in the beauty uh, world, like business-wise. He's kind of created this empire. He has controversial. A brand. People have very strong opinions about. I him. do know he's controversial. I'm not. I'm not discounting any of that. Mm -hmm. I'm just kind of from the business uh, side of things. Just listening to, and and I don't. I like literally watched none of his YouTube videos, so I don't really, you know, aside from the one we're going to talk about. But um, I, yeah. So I don't. I can't speak to the stuff that you know may, may be. What is caused him to be viewed as controversial or whatever? Um, but I do know that it was just intriguing. I'm not like I didn't fall in love with it. I just you know I was like interesting. Um, I was interested in him and his story. So then we watched one of those edit videos like by Shook or whatever it was, where <laughs> yeah. it was like someone annoying someone for two minutes straight. You know, but, yeah, about. but that wasn't it. But it was, it was. Uh, what was the video? It was when I tried a blank makeup tutorial by so -so. Oh, you're right. It was when Jeffrey, Jeffrey did Star Tana's. Did, I followed a Tana Mojo tutorial. That's makeup what it tutorial. was. And he's, Jeffrey starts just sitting there watching it the whole time. Okay. He's like, you right. sick bitch. Yeah, so he's <laughs> he, he's basically like shitting on her this the whole time. Hot. Okay, you already said that. It's a snack. Did you want to prepare a whole hot ones? Mm -hmm. That's what I thought. Mm -hmm. Get out. <laughs> and Pick the way he out. called her a sick bitch just made me laugh really hard. So <laughs> I've been using that. It was pretty simple. <laughs> Can I get some spice in my life? Wow, you coughed because it was so spicy as you were complaining. That no, it just like went in my throat weird. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm like coughing on a physical object. Cough on me. Mm -mm. All right, I have one. Uh, my next question ready. Okay. Um, 
What is your favorite pair of me undies? Me undies. <laughs> the underwear that's three times softer than cotton and can be shipped right to your door with new designs each month. Oh, I hate you. Micromodal fabric and socks and bralettes as well, if that floats your boat. Mm. <laughs> You've never felt me undies because you don't own them. But if you if you buy now, you will own them, and you will never go back to normal underwear again. Like me, my whole drawer is filled with only meandies, and I'm not talking about my underwear drawer. I'm talking about my kitchen drawer. I've got that many meandies that the silverware drawer in my kitchen is literally overflowing with meandies. No, it's not. It could be. <laughs> you never know. But for real, guys, uh, meandies is changed the game of underwear it's like being naked but better literally three times softer than cotton they did the, they did the math on that okay if you are confused at why there's all this hype around the underwear give it a shot go to meundies.com slash anna julian 20 percent off free shipping and if you hate them you send them back you get your money back which you won't you probably like I, i'm positive you won't hate them um, but it's worth giving a shot because it's like one of those things that you buy it once. You're like, okay, I've been doing this wrong. Sort of like we bought like really good olive oil recently and we're like, what the fuck? We've been buying this cheap olive oil. It's just like changes the game for you when you try something like the next level up in that category. So for us, MeUndies is that thing. And for you, it can be too. Go to MeUndies.com slash Jenna Julian, 20% off your first pair and free shipping. Guys, it's shipped right to your door. You don't got to go shop for it in the store like a troglodyte. Okay. And it's a limited time offer, so you got to get on it soon. Uh, also, guys, the skim, it is a newsletter with all the top news stories compiled perfectly, organized, simplified for you in your email inbox every morning. Guys, the skim literally takes all of the important things out of the nonsense of what's on the internet every day, compiles it so you can read it. It's bite size. It's like a little fun size Snickers bar, and you just consume it in the morning. It's free, okay? While you're brushing your teeth... While you're doing your business, while you're taking a shower with your um, waterproof uh, phone case, if you have that, or you're just living on the edge, um, or if you uh, eat your cereal or oatmeal in the morning and you want to read something, it's a great way to just get the facts of what's going on in the world so you can be educated, you can be informed. It is a really cool service, especially in this day and age when there's like clouded information everywhere you look online. This cuts through all the nonsense. Um, so check it out, guys. Go to theskim.com slash Jenna Julian. You will also be entered to win a $250 Visa gift card, which you can buy anything you want, even me undies or something else. Um, but check it out. It is a free newsletter. Click the link in our description to get started. Thank you, sponsors. Thank we appreciate you, sponsors. you supporting our show. All right. I think it is your turn now. I got to finish this wing. I ate a lot of that. And if you eat a lot of it, it does... It gets spicy eventually, mm. but not really. Mm. All right. Are you moving on to this last spicy wing? Mm hmm That you says is hot? All right. Julian, mm -hmm. would you rather be standing in the middle of the crowd at Coachella or on a Disney cruise ship? That's a lot. Deal with it. It's the hottest one. We haven't had any spice this whole time. Fuck. Coachella or a cruise ship? Yeah. How long is the cruise? I'm dumping some of this off. All right. Are we cheersing? Yeah. All right. Gringo Bandito. Hottest wing. Here we go. Mmm. Like a week. Woo! A week-long cruise. Or a weekend at Coachella. <laughs> yeah. That one's hot. Mmm. I didn't eat that, like... It comes in late. Like, dip it a little bit. Because you put in that... You dumped it. Well, I'm trying to give us some heat. I'm trying to give us... Con babe, I'm trying to make content. <laughs> Is that a secret from them? Yeah. Mm, okay. Yeah, it's pretty good. Yeah. Dip it in a little more sauce. Like, get a little... I have a lot on Get the a little top. action. I taste it's the... It's action. I taste the action. But okay. I, it, my tongue's not, like, numb. I would say a cruise ship because at least I could just go to, like, a semi-normal bar and just get hammered. Because <laughs> I know they have bars on cruise ships. Mm -hmm. I feel like Coachella would just drive me insane. Yeah. And, 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 like, I would go to Coachella, but I would never stand in the middle of a fucking crowd. Never. Mm. Willingly, right? I would, I would kind of navigate more calculated and not just end up in a mosh pit or a crowd. I just, that's my nightmare. Yeah. Yeah, this one's spicy. Oh, good. Yeah, this one's good. That one's good as fuck. Um, which Spice Girl and why? Mm. Jerry Hallowell, Ginger Spice. Loved her. Me too. I loved her. I thought she was so beautiful. When I was a little girl. 
I liked Baby Spice, I liked Scary Spice, I liked Posh. I like sporty, but ginger was like my favorite. Mm -hmm. That's a good one. Right? Yeah. Oh, that she was my favorite too. And I don't even remember a lot of Spice Girls, but I just remember how much I liked her. There's only so no, many I, Spice I, Girls. No, a lot about the Spice Girls. I don't remember oh. a lot of the details about it because I watched Spice Girls. It burns Girl. under my tongue. It's a late Spice, I'm telling you. Ow. Yeah. That I one's ate hot. it too fast. That one's hot. That one's like a. A layer below spice. Ow! Like, it's, it's starting not, to burn my tongue off! It's not a surface spice. It gets you later. Am I going to live? You got to keep answering questions. Ow! Ask me one more. Ow! If a quilt has no quilting on it, is it a quilt? No. No. It's a painting or it's another art piece, but a quilt is a very specific medium. No, like, I think it's like a comforter, like a blanket. Like, there has to be quilting on it in order for it to be a quilt. I yeah. hate when someone calls it a quilt, but it's clearly a blanket or a comforter. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We're not calling things quilt that hasn't been, like, spent time on like that. Yeah. <clears throat> what is your ideal PUBG loadout? Mm. Armor and all. Mm. Grips, everything. Obviously, level three gear. Out of my mind. Um, M4, suppressed. Tack shock, tack shock, vert grip. I like the vert grip. What's Close tight? range. Hollow. Hollow. Um, Extending quick draw. Yeah. And then I would <clears> say <throat> like a suppressed K98 I really like or a suppressed SKS. Mini can fuck itself at this point. Okay. Mm. Well, I haven't, I still to this day haven't really fucked with a lot of drop weapons. I like the Groza. I like the ones that I've tried. Like yeah. The, um, M24. Yeah. I like, I mean, I fuck with them, but mm -hmm. I just don't trust myself enough with like that 20 bullets or whatever. Well, that's only the, uh, the AWAM. That's mm -hmm. uh, the M24. You can use 762. So, but you, okay. So an interesting point, And I want to talk about this. You said you're done with the mini, which I've been done with the mini. And a lot of people have done with the mini for a while, but they've recently announced that they're doing a whole overhaul with rebalancing the weapons and included in yeah. that is banning level three helmets off loot spawn tables, which means you're not going to find them in, in the world. You can only get them from drops. Mm -hmm. What that means is a lot of things, right? It's also a nerf to the arm, right? Because the arm's big thing was that it could knock and take, it could take off your helmet and knock you in one shot with a level three, which no other weapon in the game can do. Mm -hmm. Even an M24, it doesn't knock you with mm -hmm. a level three helmet. So it's nerfing the arm indirectly. It's buffing the mini, right? I'm down. Because the mini against like a level three helmet yeah. doesn't doesn't work. I'm down. But the biggest buff to the mini is what they're going to do to the ARs is that I'm pretty sure they're going to take eight times off of ARs. That's fine. So eight times. So that means the mini now holds value over, say, the M4. Yeah, because before, with that. Yeah. All right, just thought it would be. I don't really throw any times on an AR. That's not my jam. I don't either, but it is oh, It is what a lot of people do. A lot of people run double M4s, like Pansy. I know they do, but that's not my jam. Yeah. All right. Do you want to know my ideal loadout? Yes. Okay. Scar, silver plated, red mm -hmm. dot, <laughs> uh, extended quick draw, angled grip, and compensator mm -hmm. with an AWAM extended quick draw suppressor cheek pad eight times. Sexy. Level three everything. Um, I also like to add to my ideal loadout ten frag grenades. Ten frag. Seven smoke grenades. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, two one, adrenaline syringes, meaning I hit two drops. One Molotov. <laughs> For fun. My ideal loadout is forty rounds of Magnum, meaning I stole just the ammo <laughs> off of off one crate. Drop. <laughs> Ow, my my mouth is still burnt. It feels like when my mouth is cut on the inside. Yeah, that's a good spice, the cut feeling. It Speaking hurts. of cut, guys, get this new cut of t-shirt at our <laughs> new merch launch. I was say, what the fuck? Launching today. It is the, like, only, we've only really had, like, a couple shirts we've ever launched, but this one is actually, we've spent time on this and designing it. It comes in this. Jenna's even wearing one right now. I'm wearing the camo one. Show the other side. Look at that. Your mic's in the way. There we go. Guys, these are our new Dink shirts. These are official Dink merch, Jenna Julian merch, which we literally never have. Um, I don't know at the time of recording this, like, what the link is, but go to our Twitter, at Jenna Julian, and we will be tweeting out the link on Monday. Yes, we will. We're not going to sell out. We're yeah. going to have a period where you can order the shirts, 
and then however many are ordered, that's how many we print. Yeah, it's I've had a lot demand. of people tweeting at me that they're worried that they're going to sell out. It's, we're not doing the inventory on, that it's way. It's on so demand, you, yeah. and it's done you'll with... You'll get your sizes You'll get your stuff, shit. Yeah. Um, and it's done with Design by Humans, which I believe, not confirmed, but I believe it's $5 shipping worldwide, which is great because a lot of you guys are not in the U.S., um, so you'll be able to cop them. Uh, do you have one more you want to finish on? Yeah. What did you? What's the Scoville level of that? Um, I'll look it up. <clears throat> look it up. Where is your house? I'll come to get up. <whistles> Fuck Mary Kill, Anne Hathaway, Julia Roberts, and Sandra Bullock. No. Yeah, you got to. Sorry. No. Um, Gringo Bandito, six out of ten. Heat flavor, nine out of ten. Da, 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 da. I'm gonna go to their website. Maybe they have it on their website. Why don't you just answer the question? Oh, sorry. Um, I don't know who. I don't know the difference. So, uh, um, f- uh, fuck Julia Roberts, marry Sandra Bullock, kill Anne Hathaway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Is that good? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 Are you happy with those answers? Mm-hmm. I don't know what they mean because I like barely have an idea of the difference. But do you want another question? Yeah. Sure. If the earth was if the earth was flat, would you try to fall off it? Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> no, right. I would try to like lean at the end of it and just peek on the other side. Mm. But not fall. All the yeah, way yeah. Up. Like PUBG when you get okay. glitched under the map, I want to yeah, see yeah. what it looks like. Okay. Um, my question to you is: um, Growing up, did you have a favorite age or month? What? No, never mind. I'm not. I'm going to take that one back. Um, if you had to do jujitsu, if you had to. My last question was about jujitsu too. Oh shit! Okay, perfect. If you had to do jujitsu, uh huh. I know you don't like it, but if you had to, it's not the sport for me. Explain and describe your custom gi and what it looks Ooh, like. Bitch. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> Give me a second here. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let me get my vision. Oh, I'm excited for this. Scramble, you listening? <laughs> First of all, oh god, it would be plaid, like <laughs> head to toe plaid, like red plaid. Yeah, but like the fashion kind, whatever the one they call that. You know, the okay. kind that like Gwen Stefani wears. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So then, um, the pants, right? So they would be cut out on the side, but they would be laced up together. That is so dysfunctional. So they're open on the they side. They would rip in one. Oh, girl. Oh, so then there'd be glitter elbow pads. <laughs> The collar would be like um, also glitter to match my elbow pads. It would be super low cut to show off my breastuses. Oh the God. belt would be um, rhinestones, glitter. So no Ooh, color beautiful. belt, just just stones. A bitch, I'm bitch, I'm glitter belt. Okay, <laughs> it's like above black. Like get fucked, everyone. Oh. Um, it would also have a train. <laughs> like a gown. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's the most dysfunctional thing I've ever heard. Mm-hmm. You would injure yourself and others and probably be kicked out of your academy. But that sounds beautiful. It would also have a hood, but a fashion one. <laughs> no. Yeah. That changes everything. It would. And it would have footsies at the bottom. Okay. You just described like a onesie mm-hmm. with glitter and a tail. That's what I think you do when you go to jiu Okay. You know... And then I would rip it off, and it would be like that gif of that um, runway show. Oh, uh, when he switches outfits yeah. by ripping it off. Spooky, scary skeletons. And then it, it would look just like that. And then it would be plaid. glitter on the inside. Yeah. So that that vine is basically your gi. Yes. All right. And he has like a glitter hat headband thing. That's also what I would wear as well. Okay. Okay. My question for you is, tell us what people think jujitsu is. Okay. So... <laughs> I don't know what the fuck Josh, my buddy Josh Evans, was doing today. He's in Georgia, um, and he was Snapchatting or Instagram storying this, like, 
crazy karate party show yeah. ceremony. And it was probably a friend or cousin or relative or whatever of his who's doing it. But there, there's literally like a fire going. There's a mat outside. They're in the middle of the fucking woods. The leader or the fucking host has sunglasses on with a mic while she's wearing her full gi and black belt, of course. And they're running around kicking shit, punching shit, fire. Like, it's just, and they're dancing <laughs> and yelling. There's music. There's a stack of wood on fire. There's she a stack. with her sunglasses and her hair down, by the way, goes over she and goes over and whacks a, a stack of wood on fire, runs over. Someone throws her the mic. She grabs the mic. She goes back to hosting. And I'm just like, this is what my friends do. This, I mean, this is what my friends think I do when I say I go to jujitsu. Yeah. Every time I'm like, I do jujitsu. No one understands what it is. No. That's what my friends think I do. Just like uh, stage the Gemini, kick it like jujitsu. Isn't that his lyric? Kick back on that Glock. Call it jujitsu. There's no kicking ever. Ever, ever in the sport of jiu-jitsu. <laughs> Doesn't exist. There's no striking. <sighs> Was that Oh, obvious? no. Th- there's another one like, baby, we could kick it like jiu-jitsu. Mm-hmm. Like, why do people think jiu-jitsu involves kicking? Did they do not one simple Google search? I don't know. Uh, all right. Well, um, this has been mild ones with mild questions and even hotter wings and wh- uh, questions and statements sponsored by me and these. <laughs> <laughs> Can we get that whole thing engraved somewhere? <laughs> uh, thank you guys for hanging out with us. Hopefully you enjoyed this special edition of the Jenna Julian Podcast. This was good. This Honestly, was my favorite one is Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot. Really? Yeah, by far. I'm biased. It's, it's pretty damn good. I liked, my... I liked Gringo Bandito because I saw how, how, how deep it, it burned you. It was good. That was Because you were like, huh, I'm all cocky. This ain't even hot. Ate the whole thing. <gasps> I'm no, dying. Yeah, like a minute later. It felt like it cut my <laughs> But mouth. that's what real heat is. It doesn't hit you right off the bat. Yeah. It, no, like, but I, later. I think that the Frank, Frank's Red Hot Extra Hot is like a really good, it's a, like a really nice amount of spicy. Yeah, yeah, And yeah. I just, Frank's Red Hot cannot do any wrong in my no, mouth. No, 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 it can't. It's fucking delicious. It cannot. Anyway, thank you guys for sticking with us. Uh, we'll see you guys not next week. We'll be at Playlist. There, there's going to be no podcast next week. We'll be on Twitch uh, for the, for this week while we're in town. Uh, get your shirts while they're out. Thank you guys for hanging out. We love you. See you on the next one. Bye. Uh, bye.